Hello and welcome to another GCSE revision video. In this video we're going to be looking at dividing by fractions and the first question that comes to mind is why is it when we divide by fractions the number gets bigger? Okay so the standard way to divide by fractions is to invert and multiply or to flip the fraction and multiply. That is to say the denominator of the fraction becomes the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator and then we multiply. So 1 divided by 1 half is the same thing as 1 times 2 over 1 which is the same as 1 times 2 which is 2. Is that really right? Can the result of dividing by a fraction really be bigger than the original number? How can you divide something and have something be bigger that just doesn't make sense well actually it can make perfect sense if we think of division as repeated subtraction so we ask ourselves how many times can we take one half away from one well one minus a half is a half and a half minus a half is zero so we can take a half away from one twice so yes, 1 divided by a half really is 2. We're not making the number bigger, it's just because we're dividing by something that's small, that means we can take a smaller quantity away more often. And in the plot line to just about every crime drama ever, sooner or later the criminals that work as a gang realize that if they have to share their loot between half as many people, then each person gets twice as much. Okay, so why do we flip or invert and multiply? When we multiplied fractions, we just multiplied the top and bottom. So why can't we just divide the top and bottom? And as one famous former US president once said, Yes, we can. Okay, so if we divide the top and bottom, two-thirds divided by three-quarters would be two divided by three, all over three divided by four, which actually comes out to two-thirds over three-quarters. Okay, so what we have here is called a complex fraction, two-thirds over three-quarters. And what we're looking to do is simplify that complex fraction to turn it into a simple fraction. Well the way to do that is to multiply both top and bottom by the inverted denominator. Okay that sounds a bit complicated. Remember that whatever you do to the denominator you must also do to the numerator and what we're looking to do is make the denominator equal to 1. So to make the denominator equal to 1 we're multiplying by whatever number will turn the denominator into 1. In this case, 3 quarters, we can turn that into 1 by making it into 4 thirds, or by multiplying by 4 thirds. That then gives us 3 times 4 over 4 times 3, which is 12 over 12, which is 1. And remember, whatever you do to the denominator, you must also do to the numerator. So we're now multiplying both top and bottom by 4 thirds. And this gives us 2 times 4 over 3 times 3, all divided by 3 times 4 over 4 times 3. The 3s will then cancel out. The 4s will then cancel out. And that just leaves us with 2 times 4 over 3 times 3. Okay, so we've seen that to simplify a complex fraction, all you do is multiply top and bottom by the inverted denominator. Well, if we're doing that anyway, and that then turns the denominator into 1, which just leaves us with the numerator, we might as well just flip the denominator and multiply the fraction, because it makes that whole long process really simple. Okay, so much for the theory. Let's have a go at putting this into practice. Let's have a go with the very same one that we did in the theory. Let's do two-thirds divided by three-quarters. And let's see what it actually equals. So all we do is flip and multiply, or invert and multiply. So that's two-thirds 
times 4 over 3 which is equal to 2 times 4 is 8 divided by 3 times 3 is 9 if we look at common factors 8 is 2 cubed 9 is 3 squared there's no common factors so this is irreducible it's already in its simplest form okay let's have one more go uh, let's try something like um, 5 eighths divided by 1 half okay so again we're flipping and multiplying so that's 5 eighths times 2 over 1 which is the same as 5 eighths times 2 so that's equal to 5 times 2 is 10 8 times 1 is 8 will this simplify well yes obviously they're both even numbers so I know they're going to have at least one two in common so let's see what we've got so 10 over 8 is equal to 2 times 5 divided by 2 times 4 well 5 is a prime number so that's already in its prime factors we can simplify 4 um, to make 2 times 2 but is there any point because this is already a prime number we know that we can cancel these 2's and we know that 5 is not going to have 2 as a factor so we can't simplify it anymore so our answer is 5 quarters which we can turn this from a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction into a mixed number if we want because 5 quarters is the same as 4 quarters plus 1 quarter and 4 quarters is 1 so this is equal to 1 and 1 quarter so 5 eighths divided by a half is 1 and 1 quarter okay why don't you have a go yourself pick some fractions and divide them or multiply them and practice and good luck with your exams and good luck with your revision and I'll see you in another video.